I'm Arjun, serving as a senior DevOps engineer at Infosys. And I have solid 10 years of experience in the DevOps field. And I'm also a certified trainer over the five years. I will be guiding you on this DevOps professional for further journey. We have different, different job profiles on DevOps. Like the first one is software engineer. Second one is application support engineer. And third one is DevOps support engineer and build and release and we have uh, platform engineer and we have SRA site reliability engineer and we have observability engineer and we have automation engineer. So these many profiles we can uh, relate to a DevOps. So a DevOps guy is going to work on these areas. When you are searching a job, if you try to match uh, the roles and responsibilities it, to a DevOps one. At which which areas they are expecting the skill. Software engineer. A company is giving you a label software engineer title to your profile and you can make use him into an application support DevOps or automation or any other testing site like this. So that's how they are giving software engineer title. So it's a, a common global label on an engineer and then next application support engineer so this candidate will be going to work at the the first point of contact at production application if some incident happen and the ticket is generated and the customer or the stakeholder uh, who is going to communicate with the first team point of contact is the application support team where they will decide a category of the incident and they will forward to a consent team so mostly we call them as a L1 engineers or L2 engineers who do have functional fixings. Okay. And then DevOps support. This candidate will be going to work support level from the source code management to the production source code management to the production side. So he is not going to be create anything. He will be just supporting on an existing project. Everything is already set it up. Everything is already there. When the teams are not able to perform something and they'll create in a ticket and he'll going to support on. So this is a support projects, especially at the DevOps activity and coming to build and release. So build and release. So this engineer is going to responsible once a developer did a code and given to a source code management site, our uh, system is going to take that code and it will build make it the backup artifact packages and it will deploy executable or deployable package into your production. So this responsibility is completely carried out by a build and release engineer. Yes, still in the DevOps, we use build and release engineers. It is sometimes agile process and platform engineer. Who will be uh, the platform engineer? Platform engineer is nothing but again, he'll completely going to create new automations new integrations, new connectivities, new things completely. So if you want to create a new alerting system or if you want to create a new integration with the third party tool to our system, who will be going to do this? A platform engineer going, going to do this. And SRE is completely at production level, which monitor the application. Any incident happens, he will drive the incident in order to solve in a promised time. So one company will promise to another company, let's say I am a ABC company and I have a product of Netflix and I don't know how to manage this my product. I will give service to a Accenture. Accenture is having engineers. So I'm telling them to maintain my application, my product. So Accenture is promising me something like Oh, I will be taking care with some KPIs, key performance indicators and some uh, SLI and SLOs, service level agreements and service level indicators and operational things. So that means the set of engineers are going to work to solve an incident in just a one hour or two hours, three hours based upon the incident criteria. Okay. So this kind of activities is completely carried out by an SRE engine and coming to observability. So this guy or this engineer is going to observe a complete system. 
he will observe with the labels he'll apply the labels with the labels he is going to observe the complete system how it is behaving is it expected behavior or not it is creating more cost on the cloud level or other resource level is it good to go if you are going in this year and what about the next year and what about the third year prediction so he will be going to observe and he'll come up with a new solution to be optimize the system he is the observability engineer he'll have a very good knowledge to reach this position we should have at least 6 plus years of experience and then automation engineer so here this guy he could be a cloud engineer and he will be going to create new automations by using the scripts especially for automation only python terraform cloud formation aws cdk pulumi like other things he will be going to use a scripting level and he'll do an automation cloud and system level and devops with data so this guy will be going to work at data shed also is partially involving into the devops he also partially involving into the data shed so some projects are there the projects are expecting the candidate should know about the data and also devops like data breaks data lakes edf or it's aws side aws glue other services okay so this many profiles in the market so devops is going to be in this many profiles i'll give you skills which is needed devops engineer very responsible with this areas site reliability engineer where the responsible with this areas and tools a cloud engineer build and release engineer infrastructure engineer automation engineer and as i said security engineer devsecops and developer also going to be involved in between because sometimes developer need to be communicated with some back end and front end services like kafka rabbitmq sqs uh, for uh, deployment purpose he will be also going to somewhat going to work with the devops techno methods a data engineer system administrator and technical support and software engineer these many profiles are into the devops thank you staying with me in the session